Hey, what's up guys? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. There's no intro today because I'm moving things around in my room and it's a bit of a mess right now, but I thought not gonna let that stop me from getting a tutorial out. So this one's about how to loop playback in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get right into it. I've got a little clip here, just a single clip of me testing out my new camera. I'm gonna go ahead and mute the audio so we don't listen to that over and over and over again because this is all about looping. So what we need to do is tell Premiere where we want to loop. So we need to set an in and an out point. You can use the I and the O keys on your keyboard. So I'm gonna drag my playhead to the front of this clip, hit I, that sets an in point. I'm gonna go over here, hit O, and that sets an out point, but that's not it. So don't stop there because it's not gonna loop. It's gonna play right on through your in and out points. What we need to do to make this loop is add a button up here in our panel. To do that, click on the plus icon, which is the button editor, Find the loop icon, which is this one here, click and drag it down into your tool set down here and let go. And it's gonna place that right in there. I already had it in there, but for you, it won't show up, so you gotta drag that down and add it to your tools. Hit OK and there it is. Now it still won't loop, because we gotta turn it on. So just click it, make sure it's pressed, and it's turned on. Now when I play this with spacebar, it's gonna loop continuously back and forth between our in and our out points. The cool thing is there's some stuff you can do underneath this while it loops. For instance, I can make some cuts. C is the shortcut key to trim your clips. I can grab that, go back to V, the move, uh, move or selection tool. I can click and drag this out. I can begin to move clips, sample different parts, and put it in here just to test out different edits live while your playback is looping. Now if I move my in and out points, it won't exactly follow through and loop. It's gonna use that old loop, so all you have to do is hit spacebar and then hit spacebar again. That's a pause play, and it's gonna re-engage the loop to your new in and out points. But that's how to loop playback in Premiere Pro. If you guys have any questions, make sure you let me know in the comments section. Like this video, if you like this video, show it a little bit of love. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials, and I'll see you next time.